Hello, my name is Jeff Fidgen. I'm a biologist with the Canadian Forest Service here in Sault Ste. Marie. Hemlock woolly delgid is a non-native insect that was introduced from Japan. It's like an aphid. An aphid is an insect that sucks fluids from plants. The hemlock woolly delgid is an invasive species, and so populations build very rapidly on these trees. The best way to look for hemlock woolly delgid is to look at the underside of branch tips of hemlock. You, there, if the delgid's present, you'll see these little woolly tufts. Generally, when it moves into a stand for the first time, is in the upper part of the canopy, and reaching that part of the crown is exceedingly difficult. Ball sampling is a way that we can actually reach the upper crown of hemlocks, and what that involves is shooting a, a ball that has some Velcro on it, and we put that ball in a slingshot and we shoot it up into the canopy. The materials are readily available. You need balls, slingshot, Velcro, and wooden beads. We use racket balls, preferably red ones, because they can be seen when you're sampling so you won't get hit by them. The beads are placed inside the ball via an incision that we make along the seam of the ball. Squeeze the ball to open it. You pop the beads in there until the ball is full but not distorted. We glue the incision together with super glue. The Velcro goes out on the outside of the ball in thin strips. Uh, the Velcro should be adhesive, so it sticks to the ball. So we put two circumferential strips around the ball. That creates four wedges. And so within those wedges, we put smaller strips. The pattern of the Velcro on the ball looks like a basketball. It's important to wear head protection, eye protection, and leather gloves. Shooting a ball into the canopy is like shooting an arrow from a bow. Place the ball in the pouch of the slingshot and you're going to pull the pouch back to your chest. And the reason why you pull the ball back to your chest and not your face is if the band breaks, you won't punch yourself in the face. Once the pouch comes back to your chest, then you can move the pouch up near your face like you would with a bow. Because the adelgid tends to concentrate out on the branch tips, you want to be aiming at that 60 centimeter end of the branch. You can anticipate how much the ball will drop and then aim just slightly higher to hit the uh, part of the tree you want to hit. The Velcro will actually trap that wool and hold on to it so that when it lands on the ground, you can recover it and see it on the ball. The best way to sample a hemlock tree is to use two people on opposite sides of the tree and each shoot their own ball. And so their partner can go and collect that ball and then they can collect their partner's ball and look at it for wool. If you find wool on the ball, put it in a vial until someone can take a look at it. Eastern hemlock is an extremely important ecological species. We usually find hemlocks along rivers and creeks, and the hemlock actually provides enough coolness in the summer and warmth in the winter to sustain a very uh, unique set of species. Ball sampling can be used by anyone. Anyone that has a woodlot, anyone that has some yard trees. Early detection of any invasive is important because it gives us lead time to prepare a response to those infestations. Because the infestations are still relatively small, the cost of treating those infestations is much lower than it would be if you waited. If you think you've seen an invasive species, visit www.invasivespeciescenter.ca and click on Report a Sighting to find specific reporting options for your province or territory.